Date your husband naman! Huh? Date your wife! <laughs> so today, we will be discussing why it's important to date your spouse. Diba? Yeah. So who initiates the dates between the two of us? Okay, I'll be honest. Ang talaga nag-initiate ng date mm. is Doug. Why? Kasi you want to date me. You want to spend time alone with me. But why do I have to be the one to initiate always? Because you're more romantic than me. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that's the, the, the same case for a lot of couples. Yung mas makulit mag-ask ng date yung husband. You think that's more normal? Uh, what or, I hear or, is it's the wife who always does the husband's. Make time naman for me. Really? Yeah, that's what I always say. I mean, make, okay. Oh, okay. Pero, Parang my, my husband doesn't mind me na. Okay. He doesn't ask me to go out on dates. We're not anymore oh, intimate. Right. We're not anymore like this and like that. But there are also times when I read about husband and wife and the things that they do for each other. And mm. it's funny and it's nice and it's romantic and it's sweet. Okay. But you know, there are more who really want that time and attention from their partner. I remember I made a, a, a photo post before and the caption was just date your wife because we were dating. And then ah, okay. I took a picture mm. and then the caption was date your wife. Mm. And then a smiling face and a heart. Alam mo, grabe, most of the comments, wives were tagging their husbands. I told you. You're right. I told you. I know because I have a lot of mga groups, mga mom groups that I I see their um, whatever it is that they're going through. I remember one of these the, one of our close friend couples. Mm -hmm. They were saying, "How often do you guys date Doug and Checks?" A and lot. <laughs> so, to put a number to it, kami ni Checks, we usually want that quality time, just the two of us, at least once to two max a week. Mm. Sometimes three. Yeah, depends. Diba? Yeah. Depends but on then, how tired we are, where if you have shoots or meetings, ganyan. Yeah, but then also our dates. There are dates that it's just me and him. Mm. There are dates we go out on dates with their friends or we go out, go out on dates with their siblings. Mm -hmm. So we also include other people in our um, date nights. One of the comments that I read was, Doug and checks. Pag sinabi niyo naman date, hindi naman namin afford all the time to go to a restaurant. Hindi namin ma afford to go all the time. Sinabi niyo pa sa amin to avoid restaurant, yeah. di ba? <laughs> Actually, hun, what is the most practical date for us? You know what? The, the easiest. Ang pinakamadaling date namin ni Doug is really I'll tell him, honey, manood tayo ng ng uh, ng TV sa taas. Tayong dalawa lang, wala na mm. muna yung mga kids mm. kasi we co-sleep with our children. Mm. So, bihira lang yung manun manunod kami ng mga movies sa gusto namin uh -huh. or yung mga television shows sa gusto namin. So, pag nagda-date kami minsan and we're just at home, I tell him, tayong dalawa muna sa, sa room. Yeah. Tapos, um, yun, magpapaluto kami ng, ng pagkain, <laughs> tapos kakain kami. Enjoy na ako doon. Yeah. I really like it and I enjoy it also. Don't misunderstand the word na date na you have to go in a candlelit dinner, uh, kailangan fine dining, no. Extravagant, no. mga ganyan. You know, I remember one of our friends said, you know, we went to this uh, barbecue place. Kami asawa. dalawa lang ng asawa ko and then we enjoyed each other just talking. So alam mo yun, parang yeah. for us nga, most of our dates, 90% of our dates are here at home. Naalala mo babe, nung pandemic, we took the car out up to uh, up uh, the hill mm. of our uh, street. Yeah. And then after that, para lang mafeel namin na nasa labas kami. <laughs> so ang ginawa namin, we sat on the uh, back of yeah. the car. We opened the trunk. Yeah, yeah. and then we had some drinks yeah. and some chips. And then we were talking there. And wala lang, we had to be creative. And yeah. although we have a lovely view here at home, but we just wanted to have a different feel, so we had to be creative. Yeah. So yun ang ginawa natin. And you know, I, I like what you said. Because we we have such a great view here at home. Everyone's seen our view. But I think for us, we just wanted to step away, place yourself away from usually what you're usually doing, uh -huh. and then just just you and me. And then we played uh, our favorite ninety songs. We and, did. Yeah. And then after like three hours. The kids come to us. Oh, oh. Naglakad sila. Naglakad sila. Tapos nagdala oh. sila ng mga chairs nila. Oh, Nagdala sila kasama sila. namin. Oh, but still, it was fun, di ba? Super. And 
I think that's just very important for husband and wives to make time. And wag naman lower down your pride kasi I think there will be some people I'll wait for you to invite me. Oh, yeah. Or ikaw naman I'll wait for you to invite oh, me. Yeah. And then mamaya hindi mo ko nilalabas, nag-aaway na sila. Diba? So I think me more than anything I like to be the intentional one in asking checks. And the fact is regardless if I'm the one that's asking her She'll say game. Okay, yeah. let's go. How you guys were as boyfriend and girlfriend, putting your best foot forward. Diba? You wanna um, parang show na parang I'm a gentleman. I wanna have all my attention to you. Diba? This is more important nga because your husband and wife more than Mm-mm. boyfriend and girlfriend. Mm-mm. You guys are partners forever na. Of course, diba? I mean, you chose that person to spend the rest of your life with that person, then might as well make it exciting, diba? Mm. I mean, you know, I think marriage is constant work. Yeah. Imagine having to be with that person for the rest of your life. You have to really find ways to um, excite each other, to get to know each other even more, and mm-hmm. to be more selfless and more giving. Because marriage should be fun and exciting because you don't have to do life alone. I always say that. You don't have to do life alone. You always have somebody to be with you. Yeah. Right? But honey, ito naman, kasi a lot of people, a lo- those couples who go out on dates, what are the things that they can do naman to um, be less distracted? Okay. Kasi That's there's a, good... a lot of distractions also. In... I mean, your phone is the biggest distraction. Your phone is the biggest yeah. distraction, Douglas Kramer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, our phones can be the biggest distraction during dates. So I, I would hear Czech say, honey, put your phone down na. Kasi matatem tayo. Then I'll say, I'm just picking music. Picking Actually, our music. <laughs> there are times that I tell him, I- iwanan na kita dito. Kasi lagi ka nakatingin sa phone mo. He's, I, I, he has a million people messaging him and texting him. I understand mm. that. But then I always also have to remind him, while he's very intentional in um, taking me out on dates or... Um, are having dates here at home, I also tell him, part of that date, you should also not be distracted. Mm-hmm. That that time that you gave me, that you asked from me, should be just solely for me alone. Okay. Agree. Right? Yeah. What about, uh, what are distractions among of mine that you feel like maybe... Yeah, I mean, I think, I think that's pretty common naman. I think really the phone. So... Uh, my suggestion is, because that's also one of the things that checks pet peeve is about me when we're going on a date, is I have my phone. So I think it's important, siguro, to answer all what you need to answer, set the mute, set the mood, put on your music, like that, and then you know, talk to each other. Um, I know that there are a lot of couples that like to scroll on Facebook and Instagram uh, during their date time, but you know, let's let's go old school. Let's just focus on the person who's in front of us and we can talk. <laughs> I put away my phone really when I'm with, with, um, with Doug. Yeah. I don't really... Well, that's how I am. Even at home, diba? Hindi ko alam kung nasan yung cellphone ko. Mm-hmm. And all of my friends message him and ask him, Doug, please tell Chex to look at her phone because I, I really don't look at my phone that much. Yeah. And let's set the record straight. Okay. Date time for husband means very different with daytime for wife. wifey. So you have it's a give give or give and take kind of date. Sabi mo yan paano? Na? Oh, paano? What does it mean? Kasi, for husbands. Siya sabi ko kasi kay dog eh, pag may uh-huh. alak, may balak. <laughs> so <laughs> physical intimacy, di ba? Kailangan part ng date yan. But for women, it's not like that all the time or most of the time. You gotta feel also your partner, you okay. know. I think, of course, physical intimacy is important. Mm. And I see also a lot of wives say that, that they want their husbands also to want them, to need okay. them. But I also think that, you know, just to make it exciting, put a variety to it. So, mm. okay, ikaw, yung alak mo, dahil may bala ka. <laughs> Ako naman, gusto ko iba. <laughs> diba? But remember, we talked about it before. Sometimes mm. it's, let's um, go uh, in the city and then let's, Let's maybe do something different. Mm. Diba? Why does date always have to be nighttime or lunchtime? Mm. Okay. Or, you know, 
like that, why does date always have to lead to something? Why can't date also be a compounded time of good times and then lead to more exciting, spontaneous times with yeah. husband and wife, if you know what I'm trying to say. I I'm think... talking in riddles. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, Chex and I were just trying to show that we're not perfect. See? Huh? It's, we're really not. Hello. It's, it's a constant working and I think that's why we've lasted this long is because we're very intentional in hearing each other and yeah uh, well you know we're, we're two different individuals and i hear your point you hear my point and then mm. we both want to work on it i think that's what we've discovered also through our dates through all the conversations and through all the talks that mm. you know although we get along with a lot of things we get along is because We've learned to listen to each other mm -mm. on those dates when it's just you and me. And you know, let's take this, um, since you guys are part of this topic, diba? we wanted to make sure that you guys are getting important points. It's also important, you know, when you go out on dates with your, with your wife, right? I'm talking to all the husbands out there, diba? be spontaneous. You give flowers to your, to your wife. Don't wait for an occasion. And I think women will appreciate that more. Na parang, wow, I got a a simple gift or any gift or a flower or something ah, yeah. na parang it, I, you don't have to wait for a special occasion to treat your queen properly. I love it you babe know? when you annoy when you used to leave letters on my desk or my dresser Instagram na lang pero now what he does kasi <laughs> he messages me out yeah. of nowhere but I think ako yung mahilig mag message out of nowhere yung mga I love yeah. you yeah so guys let's get this video circulating Leave a comment, tag your husband, tag your wives. Tell them, date me naman. Yeah, and you know what, guys? When we spend time together as a couple, it just doesn't only benefit us as husband and wife, mm -hmm. but you know, it also benefits our children because our children see that example that, you know, my mommy and my daddy, they love each other. They right. spend time together. They make yes. it that effort. And you know, there's a different kind of respect that comes from your children when they see that love that their parents exemplify and their parents show every day. Mm -hmm. There's that kind of respect, ba? Right? And you could see that, I remember um, Kendra telling me, you know, mommy and daddy, when I see you know, mommy, when I see daddy and you love each other that way, it makes me feel safe. Mm. And it makes me feel loved. Yes. And that's true. Because your children can feel that too. Yes. So to end this vlog, date your wife. Date your husband. Thanks for watching. Bye.